Hello. We just traveled through 550 million years of time, from the Cambrian explosion to present day in what paleontologists call the Holocene. My name is Dr. Dwayne Furman, and I'd like to welcome you to the Fossil Discovery Center. Today, during your visit, we will be taking you back in time to Fairmead, California, 700,000 years ago. We will travel to a time before humans were here, a time of gigantic beasts, ferocious carnivores, and a variety of animals that are now extinct. The Fairmead story for us really begins in May of 1993. That's when a heavy equipment operator working at the Fairmead landfill saw something unusual in the soil. When the first tusk was discovered, nobody was exactly sure what it was. Art Alejandre was called to investigate the strange item in the ground. He knew he'd never seen anything like it before. We'd heard about fossil finds like this, but the purple discoloration was huge. It was the summer of the first Jurassic Park movie release and everybody was thinking about bones. When we arrived to assess the fossil discovery for Madera County, we found remains of mammoths, turtles, and horses scattered all about. We reported to the Board of Supervisors that it'd take a couple of weeks to collect the exposed fossils. But as we dug, we kept finding more and more material. Little did we know that years later, we'd still be finding fossils. The Board of Supervisors realized from the beginning their obligation to preserve these fossils as natural resources on behalf of the people of California. We have a special fossil resource center here in Madera County. And we're proud to share it with everyone. For nature, the Fairmead story really begins in a time long before humans arrived in North America. This time is referred to as the Middle Pleistocene, some 700,000 years ago. Numerous Ice Age mammals, now extinct, roamed this area. The San Joaquin Valley looked very similar to the modern-day Serengeti Plains of Africa, with many similar animals all attracted to a water source at Fairmead. During the dry season, this was a very popular spot for all animals. There were the predators, including American cheetahs, scimitar cats, saber-toothed cats, and dire wolves, always looking out for their next meal. Large grazing animals, including horses, camels, llamas, and even Colombian mammoths, were on the predator's menu and constantly on guard. While there are several dozen fossil sites of Middle Pleistocene age in North America, few preserve the diversity of organisms that we see here at Fairmead Landfill. One of the greatest things about this site is that it gives us a glimpse of the life in the San Joaquin Valley around 700,000 years ago. Combined with our knowledge of life of the last ice age, the historical record in California, and the modern day, Fairmead Landfill is an important component to understanding the natural history of the region. The Colombian mammoth is a member of the elephant family and was larger than the more familiar woolly mammoth. Some stood as tall as 14 feet, with tusks measuring 10 feet in length. The dire wolf was an incredibly muscular and powerful predator that could bring down larger animals. One of the world's oldest fossil specimens of the dire wolf was discovered at Fairmead. Three species of ground sloths, ranging in size from a black bear to a cow, inhabited the area. Most people are surprised to hear species of camels grazed in the valley, and some stood seven feet tall at the shoulder. Llamas also were present during this time. The largest population of mammals was the herds of horses that grazed on grass on the valley floor and drank at the watering hole. Like the camels and llamas, the horses migrated to the Old World. The Spaniards reintroduced the horse back to North America in the 1600s. The California state fossil is the Smilodon. A new species of saber-toothed cat was discovered at Fairmead. A cousin was the Semitar cat, a predator known for its curved, serrated teeth. The short-faced bear, rearing up to 12 feet tall on its hind legs and weighing in at 1,500 pounds, is believed to be the fastest bear to live, with a possible running speed of 40 miles per hour. With so many creatures present at the Fairmead site, it gives paleontologists excavating fossils a very special and unique look at life during the Middle Pleistocene. 
When the landfill is excavating new cells, paleo monitors like myself and volunteers walk behind the large earth movers and look for fossils. When we spot a fossil, we flag it off and we work quickly to excavate and preserve the fossil. A plaster jacket is made with a mix of water, plaster, and burlap and is like a cast put on a broken bone to protect the bone. Once the jacket has had time to dry, the fossil is ready to be removed from the ground and taken back to the lab where it is cleaned, prepared, identified, and made ready for study and display. The Fairmead site has the largest Irvingtonian fossil deposit on the west coast. Since 1993, over 15,000 fossils have been recovered. After the fossils are removed, the county's waste is deposited into the expansive cells and covered up. The dig site covers over 40 acres and excavation of fossils will be taking place for decades for all to see. The fossils are currently on display across from the dig site here at the Fossil Discovery Center of Madera County. The San Joaquin Valley Paleontology Foundation was formed in 1996 to support the scientific and educational outreach for the Fairmead fossils. When the paleontologists and artists try to recreate the essence of these now extinct creatures, we don't really know for certain what color their fur was or exactly how they behaved. We combine science, art, and imagination to make an educated guess. Try using your imagination and discover how you believe these animals may have looked and sounded. I hope when you experience the Fossil Discovery Center and the many exhibits and hands-on activities, you'll try to take time to look around and imagine the animals that roamed around where you are standing. Make your own discoveries and draw your own conclusions as you travel back 700,000 years in time. After all, that is why the Fossil Discovery Center of Madero County was created. Please enjoy your visit and come back again. Thank you.